You have an idea, a budget, and you're sure you would like to try an AR solution. There are two ways for you to make it happen – as a standalone mobile application or as a web AR experience. Both have their pros and cons, and I would like to discuss that today. What are the main differences? An app is an independent program within your smartphone while WebAR lives somewhere on the internet. App is launched by an app button, WebAR, via a link in your browser. Applications require longer time to develop but can fit more complex ideas and can also be integrated into an existing application. While WebAR is faster to develop, it is also limited in functionality. So which one fits your needs best? Application is best suited for when you need to put a lot of things in one place and would like to present complex 3D models with good animation. An app is best suited for long-running campaigns or for those that you would like to expand in the future. Think of an AR application as an independent platform for your users to acknowledge and build community around. It is a new way for you to reintroduce your brand. What can you fit in one app? Locations – detailed stores or showrooms on a one-to-one -one scale. Products – easily accessible via the store or just place wherever you want. Videos and images as an additional channel or point of interaction for your content. Creatures and characters – less researched field with a huge opportunity for storytelling. Tracking of surfaces, markers and placement of 3D objects. Further gamification and content unlocking. Any combination of the previous can be fully recreated in AR on your smartphone. The downside – price and time. The more complex the structure of your application, the more time it will take to bring it to life. Development time can vary from two months to eternity, depending on various factors. An app should not only have AR capabilities in it, you can put any source of information inside, just as you would in any other digital product without extended reality. WebAR is a perfect option for you to show off some particular features of a product, location, or even the brand voice, while you are limited by a very simple graphics and less interactivity, you give a very fast access to this experience. So for example, you have a furniture store. An app would be nice to have, but you can simply recreate your products in WebAR. Put a link on a QR code to a product page that leads to this LAMP model. Yet every new experience needs new QR or link and a marker going with it. Of course, the technology has its cons and not so fancy graphics and every new experience would need a new QR or link and a marker going with it. Also, WebAR is always built on a base of some ready-made technology, so you also have to acquire a license to use a platform. WebAR performs smoothly because of its accessibility and simplicity. For you to use the most out of it, choose the simple features you need to present in 3D remotely. Are your customers stuck at home or prefer online shopping? Allow them a sneak peek of a new collection by a simple link on a social media. If an app is a whole new channel of communication, WebAR is just a shortcut – simple yet fast and effective. It is cheaper and faster in development, starting from approximately two weeks of full development and launch. Before making an app, ask yourself, what problems will it help solve? How can it help in marketing my products? Don't put everything inside just yet. Think of vital parts of an app and what exactly needs to be shown. Start small and test your ideas along with different interaction ways. Be wary of marketing the app, as it's yet another project that needs coverage to go viral.
Remember about the limits of WebAR performance, choose few particular features to show. AR still looks fresh, WebAR is the fastest way to present it to your customers. WebAR doesn't require long development and can simply be a part of your website. Conceal it as a natural part of an experience and in a no time the whole tag will have a bunch of followers who want more. If you're still unsure about trying AR for your audience, WebAR is the safest bet. So which one of those will you use for your next project? Will it be web or mobile? Let us know in the comments, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time!